Okay, I'm going to show you uh, how you can extract information from the outcar file of a completed VASP calculation and then use it to uh, visualize the results of the calculation with ChemCraft. So I've logged into uh, the cluster using MOBA XTERM and I'm in my home directory which is slash home slash username and uh, the first step is to go to the shared the slash data slash shared directory and we're not going to go into the VASP input we've already uh, done that before but there's a file called outcar.sh and you want to make a copy of this into your home directory okay now I already have a copy in my home directory but I'll show you how to do that so if you go to this data shared directory cp outcar dot sh and then for your home directory you just put slash home slash and then your username right so if I hit enter here it would make a copy of this file uh, into my home directory but I've already got one there so I'm not going to do that but now what I can do and I'm in this data shared folder to get back to my home directory I can just hit CD okay and then just to confirm that I'm back to home directory so home slash s sigmund so no matter where you are uh, what subdirectory you might be in uh, if you just hit CD it automatically takes you back to your home directory alright so now in my home directory there is a copy of this file outcar.sh and this is an executable file it's a, a shell script that what it'll do is it will uh, open up the outcar file that you have after you finished a VASP job and it will extract the coordinates of all the atoms in all of the different optimization steps that the program has gone through and then you can tell it to write that coordinate information to a file and that file is the one that we're going to use uh, that ChemCraft will look at and be able to visualize the results of the calculations in each of the optimization steps so how do we do this well uh, outcar.sh is the file that we actually want to execute and I'll show you how to do that but we first have to go to a folder or a directory where we have the outcar file from a completed job so let me go to my data as sigmund folder and then in this I have a job called test h2o where I ran a water calculation and so I have an outcar file here uh, if we page through that art car file we can get a lot of information uh, one nice thing to do is to use this grep uh, search command to look for the string sigma in the out car file and this will show the energies that were calculated uh, by VASP in all of the different optimization steps and in fact I can use a pipe and visualize this result these results one page at a time and I can see how the program went through uh, several optimization steps and then finally finished with a final energy that turns out to be the the most stable structure uh, for this simple water molecule okay but uh, the outcar file has so much information that we'd like to just extract the coordinates that we want and here's how this works so what I'm gonna do is type whoops sorry I'm gonna type home slash s sigma slash and then the the file that we're gonna actually execute which is outcar.sh so you've already copied it to your home directory and here's what you need to type in order to execute that now let me just show you what happens if I just hit enter it tells me the program how to use it and so it shows that here's how you type in order to execute it you type the path name and then there are various options that are listed down here and then the input file name comes and the input file name is always going to be arc outcar and and this just gives an overview of what the program does the option we want to pick is minus x because it extracts the geometry in what's called xmol format for visualization it's going to create what's called an xyz file which is a coordinate file so I've got the out, out car file in this directory and so here's what I want to do I want to use this command 
this slash home slash my username slash uh, whoops out car dot sh right and now I want to type minus x which was that option I'm going to use and then out car so what's going to happen is if I just hit enter here all the coordinate information I want is going to get written out to the screen but I don't want that I want to capture it in a file so I use the right arrow key like this and I'm going to make a file and I'm going to call it outcar underscore h2o dot xyz so I like this kind of file naming it reminds me it's an outcar file then after the underscore you have the name of the molecule and dot xyz is important because that's a suffix for the file that ChemCraft will recognize when we want to visualize the results. So I hit enter, okay, and just to confirm, this new file has been created, this outcar file. And if I more that file just to look at it, what I have is in each of the optimization steps, this gives the coordinates of the two hydrogen atoms and the oxygen atom that make up the molecule. And the three in there just tells the program that there's three atoms whose coordinates are coming. And, and that's all this is. So it's a much shorter file. And since we're going to now have to transfer it from the cluster to my PC, it's kind of nice because it's a very short file and easy to transfer. Now, here's where we use the left-hand column uh, of the MOBA X term display, uh, this left-hand panel, because I'm going to move this file Again, just to remind ourselves what the name of the file is, it's this outcar underscore h2o.xyz file, but we have to find it first. And in this left hand panel are all the files and directories that are in my home directory. See, at the top it says home s sigma. But I want to go into the directory where this outcar file is actually located, so I use the icon up here. If I hover over it, uh, parent directory, okay, it, it says that. So I'm going to go up. It goes up one directory, so now I'm in slash home, and s sigmund is there, that's my home directory. But if I go up one more, right now I've got a bunch of other directories, but the one we want is the data directory. So I double click that data. Now I'm going to double click. I have to scroll down because my name is down here. Open up my directory, okay, the s sigmund, and what I'm looking for is that test h2o directory which because I have so many directories is way down near the bottom uh, did I pass it there it is test h2o double click on that all right and I can see the file this outcar h2o.xyz file and I want to move this file to my PC for, which is where my chemcraft program is installed so what I do is I go up here upload to current folder first I'm going to click on that file just to select it, right? And I'm going to click, uh, no, I want to click download, I'm sorry, download the selected file. So I click download, and then it asks me where I want to download it on my computer. And so in my documents folder, I've created a folder in there that's called XYZ files. So if I double click on that, or actually I just highlight that, it's going to take this file, this outcar file, and make a copy in this XYZ files. So I click OK and very quickly you saw a little flash in that left hand panel that means it's actually there so now if I go to this folder and uh, it was in documents it was under XYZ files and boom there it is there's the file okay so since it's there now I can run ChemCraft and visualize the results so I'm gonna open up ChemCraft right there, ChemCraft 1.8. I get a window that opens up here, and there's a little hint that comes up. I'll close that, and now here's what ChemCraft is great for. File, open, and now I just have to go. It's already set because I've done this before. It's, it's already set to go to this XYZ files folder. I click the file name, I click open, and boom, okay? Now you can see the window has the water molecule, 
uh, with ball and stick representation of the molecule. And in the left-hand panel, you'll see that there's a, a bunch of these threes. Each of these represents a different geometry that the program went through in order to do the geometry optimization to try to find the most stable structure of this water molecule using the starting geometry that I gave it to start with. And so if I use the right mouse button, I can rotate this thing around, and I can put in a symbol, atomic symbols. There's all kinds of other stuff that I can do. But what's kind of helpful is uh, to just click on this top under multiple XYZ files. I click on that top three, and now I use the down arrow. And as I use the down arrow, it's going to scroll down, and you'll see changes in the window that show how the water molecule geometry changed. So I'll go back up to the top, just using the up and down arrow keys. My initial guess wasn't very good. Uh, you can see that the angle, the HOH angle, was larger than it probably should have been. But I just used a very rough guess. And the bond lengths don't change very much, but the angle definitely gets smaller. And then you can see just small changes once that first change happens, small changes in the atomic positions, but it only takes seven or eight steps in order to complete the geometry optimization. So that's one of the things that ChemCraft is really useful for uh, so that we can see what kind of geometry rearrangements happened while the optimization was taking place. And then, of course, we can click on uh, pairs of atoms, and we can get the bond length here in the, the little panel at the very bottom of the visualization screen. Now you can see these two atoms, what the distance in angstroms is between them. If I click the third atom, now I get the bond angle, the HOH angle, and uh, we can manipulate this and get all kinds of structural information uh, from ChemCraft. So those are the important steps to go through to extract coordinate information from the outcar file, creating that shorter outcar file, then downloading it from our computational cluster to your local machine, and finally using ChemCraft to visualize it. So now you're ready to go. Have fun.